Hey YouTube, in this test I'm going to be showing what happens when you overclock an AMD FX8350 to 4.8 GHz and you overclock an i5-3570K to 4.3 GHz and then you run Cinebench and you see which one scores higher. So I guess for this one we'll do the single core do single core first here and see which one does better this is the single core test so for those of you that want to know what that means it means that you'll see if I open the task manager on these systems you'll see one core tends to have more of the work I guess based on Windows task scheduling it will determine it may actually shift the task around uh, but typically it should stay you should see one like right here with AMD it's pretty clear that core number two or I guess three I tend to look at them as modules though as groups of two um, but it looks like core one on the second module or I guess core three uh, has the majority of the work or I guess it's it's the one that's actually trying to complete the task uh, where at Intel it looks like it's core one the Intel percentage is gonna go up a lot more because there are less cores so you so you have a percentage out of four whereas with AMD you have eight cores so it's that's why the utilization does look like it's lower uh, and that looks like those four cores there two four six and eight are parked from Windows 7 because they're not really needed for this this is a single core benchmark uh, as you can see, it looks like well, it looks like AMD had the advantage in the beginning. The application seemed to start, it seemed to start faster or or load quicker. Uh, but it looks like Intel is winning in single core. Uh, let me show the speed in CPU Z for both of these. If we zoom in on AMD. You can see it's at 1.5 volts, 4.8 gigahertz. It is an 8350, and then the Intel, it is a 3570K, it's at 1.36 volts, and it's at 4.3 gigahertz. Now, the reason why it's only at 4.3, people are like, well, why don't you make it run higher? Uh, that's because, well, you can already see that's quite high voltage there on an Intel chip for mine. Uh, Ivy Bridge and Haswell, well, Haswell's actually even worse. Um, you don't have to take my word for it if you don't want, but I do have an i7 here, 4770K, so I can speak from experience that the Intel's, starting with Ivy Bridge, uh, you do not want to be running high voltage on those chips. So because mine requires that kind of voltage for 4.3, that's where I leave it. With AMD, I know it can run at 1.5 just fine because that's what the 9590 runs at which is their 5 gigahertz processor so already it looks like Intel is going to win this so it's probably a pretty pointless comparison because it's the single core we'll do the multi-core one next just for completion sake but uh, I can already tell you Intel is going to win single core right now because you can see just by looking at the image that it's completing a lot faster Alright, so it looks like Intel's going to get its score soon. So let's move this out of the way. And there it's done. It scored a 1.79 on Cinebench release 11.5. And that is the CPU single core test. On Windows 7 Ultimate, you can see right there pretty much dominated all those other similar ones there was one that's like a 12 core 12 thread AMD Opteron there's a 8 core 16 thread Intel Xeon you can see Ivy Bridge is dominated the competition right there uh, looking at AMD it's not yet completed that's quite disappointing hopefully when Kaveri comes out which is pretty soon now uh, we're 
we're on the eve of the release, pretty much, uh, we would hope that Kaveri is able to fix some of these problems. At least the single core performance needs to improve, uh, because you can see here what this video has been going for like five minutes now. And uh, AMD's overclocked at 4.8 gigahertz, so I would expect to be able to complete a little bit faster than this. Alright, so it's now on the last line. And there we go. So there we go. Score of 1.26 single core. 1.26. Oh, it, it did a little bit worse than my last score. I was trying to get it to at least score the same. Alright. So now, let's do the, the multi-core one. Alright. So here we should see a difference. Here I expect AMD to do better because it has 8 cores. So if we look at the utilization you can see it's running at a hundred percent so is Intel there they go both of them jump to a hundred AMD everything is running at a hundred Intel everything is running at a hundred so we have eight cores to do this task and you can see at eight at four point eight is dominating the competition right now four point eight on eight cores and look at that look at the quad core right there wow that's now that's what I wanted to see. You have an 8-core CPU. This just goes to show you though that uh, the software really is going to have to change in the future to take advantage of this multi-thread. So there it's already completed and it's scored whoops if we look scored a 7.91 so you can see how that compares to the competition. It's almost the same as an AMD Opteron 12-core 12 12-thread at its stock server speeds uh, but then you see those server chips from Intel Xeon uh, dominate overall but again those are servers so I don't really look at those you can see there it beat in another 8350 uh, probably because this one oh that's 4.4 gigahertz so you can see the difference actually from overclocking from 4.4 to 4.8 that's a pretty pretty good advantage that you get from overclocking if your chip can hit that speed with the right cooling. Uh, Intel completed the task too now. If we look, it scored a 5.75. So that's a respectable score for a quad core. It scored exactly the same as another one. Interestingly, I don't know why Cinebench doesn't seem to list the overclock speed, but I did show earlier that it was 4.3. Um, that's a little odd. Uh, but anyway, there you have it. It shows that multi core, multi thread uh, workloads are really where the A350 shines. So if you like this video, hit that like button. If you want to see more of these kind of videos, uh, let me know what type of comparisons you want to see. If you want to see more gaming, if you want to see more synthetic. Uh, and I can do these side-by-side -side comparisons. It's not too hard. Uh, as always, guys, rate, comment, subscribe. Thanks.